We're going to draw the stereoisomers for 3 heptene. Now, stereoisomers can mean both cis and trans, or EZ isomers around a double bond, or R and S enantiomers if there are chiral centers. Let's draw the molecule to see what we're up against here. Hept means seven carbons in a chain, five, six, seven. Ene means there's a double bond, and the three tells you where it starts. This is carbon one, two, and three, so that's my double bond. Now I'm gonna fill this out with hydrogens, because there's nothing else attached to it. And I can see that there are no chiral centers here. There's no carbons that are connected to four distinct things. But there is a double bond that will have both cis and trans, or if you prefer, Z and E isomers. So we're just going to carefully draw those and we'll be done. Cis is what you get when you have a double bond and then the same thing is found on both sides of the double bond horizontally. What I mean is that both of these carbons have hydrogens on them. So I'm going to put the hydrogens on both sides of the double bond. And what I mean by that is uh, one hydrogen per carbon, but they're both like either on the top or bottom. And then I have, you know, the other parts of the chain here. This is going to be a C, C, C. With its hydrogens, this is going to be a two-carbon chain with its hydrogens, and you're done. That's This is the cis version of it, or you might call that the Z isomer. Then we're going to try the trans version, double bond between those two carbons, but then instead of the H's being both on the same side of that, horizontal axis of the double bond, they are on opposite sides. It doesn't matter if you do top left, bottom right, or bottom right, top left. Just make sure you have the right amount of carbons on either side of the chain. I believe I have seven carbons total now, and uh, you're done. This is the trans version, trans 3-heptene, or you can call it E, if that's your jam. You're done. These are the two stereoisomers. Saying draw all stereoisomers makes it feel like there's supposed to be like 50, right? Nah, there's two. Two versions for each double bond. Nice. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.